Anthony chapter 3, Paul says, But I, brothers, could not address you as spiritual people. Mm -hmm. Oh, my goodness. Mm -hmm. But as people of the flesh, mm -hmm. as infants mm -hmm. in Christ. Uh, I fed you with milk, verse 2, not solid food, for you were not ready for it. Mm -hmm. And s even now <laughs> you're not yet ready, for you are still of the flesh. Mm -hmm. For while there is jealousy and strife among you, are you not of the flesh and behaving only in a human way? Yeah, I mean, that's very real, isn't it? I, I don't yeah. think we need an army of learned theologians <laughs> to unpack this. Yeah. Uh, we're like the world's people. I'm, I'm tempted to say it sounds awfully like the church fathers from the second century to the council, mm, through the mm, council. Mm. It was strife. It was yes. argumentation, excommunication. Yes. Mm. Then the emperor gets involved. Oh, my goodness. He yes. has to step in and say, settle these issues. No. This is surely an ocean away from Scripture. Oh, it? my goodness. If yes. you can't see the difference between all that mm. fighting, mm. and although they do have problems here, Paul mm -hmm. is there to settle the issues. Absolutely. That's the whole point. I, I really think uh, uh, it's, it's really profound... Mm. Uh, that Paul has been talking about the wisdom of God uh, as made known to us by Christ. Yes. And so now we have the mind of Christ, yes. which means by extension then we have the mind of God. Of course. Uh, it, not that Christ was mm -hmm. God. Exactly. But, uh, mm -hmm. but now, uh, any more than us having the mind of Christ makes us Christ. <laughs> you know, it is, no, it, it of course does, not. doesn't work that No, it's not, it's not difficult. But, but uh, this is a, a powerful yeah. thought, Anthony. I yeah. think when, you, when he is, he's taking these people to task yes, he is. in a very severe way Absolutely. by saying, I can't address you as spiritual people. Oh, my wow. goodness. That's... Incredible. It is incredible. Yeah. He's, he's a father figure, isn't yeah. he? The he father is. is the teacher. He absolutely is. He's treating these people as children, and they deserve to be yeah. treated as children. And he Very says, "You're," uh, he says, "You're yeah. uh, not ready for mm -hmm. solid food. Um, right. I have to feed you with milk as right. as you would a baby, as you would an infant." What would you say to the current situation? Oh my! I, I came and I saw you've got fifteen hundred different churches here. Wow! What's going on? I yeah. thought there was one faith, one judgment, right. one mind of Christ. Right. Exactly. Get it together, you guys. Yes. You know, you, this is a disastrous mm. path where you've got Presbyterians who yeah. believe like yes. Calvin and yes. then non calvinists <laughs> yes. Every imaginable yes. permutation. Mm -hmm. uh, it's not right. It's amazing. It's a judgment upon our present situation, I think. Yeah. You know, I was just thinking this too, Anthony. Uh, a lot of times uh, I think there's the misconception Mm -hmm. that if people have spiritual gifts or abilities, that yeah. means that they are spiritual. Yeah, it's not necessarily. And that's not necessarily no, so. No. Paul is no. going to be writing in this letter, yeah. these people at Corinth yes, actually, yeah. I suppose, right. spoke in tongues yeah, more absolutely. than anybody absolutely. else we know about in all the absolutely. New Testament. And yeah. yet, he's writing to those people and saying, I, I can't talk to you like to <laughs> spiritual people. That is amazing. You're, you're, right. you know, the, so their speaking in tongues yeah, didn't mark them as of spiritual. Itself. That's exactly yeah. right. And uh, their speaking point. in tongues didn't mean that... Uh, yeah. That they were on uh, on the no. right track spiritually no. speaking. Why? No. You can also say that a miracle in itself doesn't prove anything. You know, you that's right. Yeah. So and so is working these extraordinary miracles. Mm -hmm. Yes, but you still have to discern mm -hmm. because the devil does absolutely. Miracles. Surely, he can mimic mm -hmm. all of these things. And it's interesting here now. Paul is not going to in the course of that we've read ahead. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, mm -hmm. but uh, yes, we uh, Paul is not going to challenge these people. Uh, at any point in the book and say, oh, no. all you're speaking in tongues is not false. He's the not going to say, oh, your, your no. prophecy is false. No, it, no. they were true. Uh, yeah. Paul never challenges that, mm -hmm. but he does challenge this, that that meant yeah. that they were spiritual. They weren't. Yeah. They no, were very exactly. fleshly, even mm -hmm. though they had those particular abilities. Mm -hmm. And uh, Yes, he uh, said in the, other, in the first chapter there, you, ha you lack no gift. As no, you wait yeah. for the yeah. second coming, yeah. you're not without these gifts. Mm -hmm. And they are they're a challenge to us too sure. because they are they cannot be dismissed. Mm -hmm. They're part of the package. Sure. But they'd better be accompanied though mm -hmm. to be 
valid mm -hmm. by truth. Mm -hmm. And so for people who, whether, who would claim yeah. spiritual gifts and abilities, maybe you do have it. Yeah. But that still doesn't mean you're spiritual. No, it still doesn't mean you exactly. have the mind of Christ That's exactly or the right. wisdom of God in, Very in important Christ. Yeah. The opposite yeah. error, of course, is to try to squelch the gifts and yeah. not yeah. have them. Yeah. That's that's uh, very very. It's an overswing. It's an the overswing. Other way. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Uh, yes. Yeah. So. Uh, yeah. But uh, we'll be seeing more of that. But it's interesting that uh, uh, I've I've run into this, and uh, particularly my background, mm. uh, people feel like, well, I speak in tongues, so yeah. that means God is with me. Yes, I And know. so therefore, I'm I'm no, okay. No, that's right. No, that's but exactly that doesn't right. get it. These these no. people no. at Corinth. Yes. spoke in tongues and yes. other gifts That's were right. among them That's certainly right. and I, and Paul doesn't challenge the validity of that but he does challenge their spirituality exactly right it doesn't mean they're spirit they're fleshly yeah. people and the extreme of that since you mentioned it because we do encounter people like that who've been told that because they're not speaking in languages you know, mm -hmm. they're not exercising that gift they should or could do it mm -hmm. and everybody should or could do it right. then they're very depressed because right. they're hoping to be spiritual and they've been told the only sign of your spirit is this sort of thing is right. speaking in languages yeah. now that is a very great right. cruelty That's to right. me yeah. it's, it's an interesting thought then that that uh, not speaking in tongues yes. is not a sign of spirituality That's right. to them That's but right. on the other hand speaking in tongues is yeah. not a sign no. that not someone is not in spiritual. itself it's not, right. not of itself That's right. yeah we've got wow. to get some balance there. we have to also I think tolerate people's different backgrounds in those regards mm -hmm. not make these divisive but they have become divisive when you yeah. say that the speaking in languages, as yeah. I would, I think, you know, it's certainly these are our languages that are recognizable. Yeah. If you say that if you don't do this, mm -hmm. you aren't spiritual. Yeah. Well, that's yeah. the two class yeah. system. Isn't well, it? and we're going to learn that's later right. on that do all speak with tongues? No. So that means some are doomed to not be spiritual. <laughs> then they're out of this. How does this work? I know. Oh, well, well, we'll anyway, get to that. We'll get to all that. Well, I think right. we'll have fun with yeah. that. We're coming from too. slightly different yeah. backgrounds yeah. in that area, but we've mm -hmm. learned to coexist very yeah. nicely yeah. on all of that. Well, uh, I do think it's interesting that mm -hmm. at this juncture, Paul is announcing mm -hmm. to the church in a very large way, yes. I can't call you spiritual. No, that's right. In spite of the gifts that were that's among right. them. That's exactly right. Exactly yeah. right. So yeah, that's, no, that, that's, that's a profound, answer. important point. It really yeah. is. Yeah. And he's stressing the wisdom and the mind of Christ. You've got to have yeah. that as yes. a basis. Absolutely. Yeah, I, no, it's a, that's a great point. I hadn't thought of it quite that way, but that is true. Yes. Verse, verse, uh, verse 5. Verse 5, yes. Mm -hmm. What then is Apollos? Mm. What is Paul? Mm. Servants through whom you believed, mm. as the Lord assigned to each. Yes. I planted Apollos water, mm -hmm. but God gave the growth. So neither he who plants nor he who waters is anything, but only God who gives the growth. Yes. He who plants and he who waters are one, mm -hmm. and each will receive his wages according to his labor. Mm -hmm. For we are God's fellow workers, you are God's field, you are God's building. Isn't that marvelous? Parable of the sower there, I think, the watering ah, yes. image, the agricultural image of yes. building one. In my notes here, I, I noted that when it says we are one, right? The yes. one who plants and the one who waters are one. That's to say they're one in mind and purpose. Yes, of That's course. exactly the same expression as John 10.30, I yes. and the Father yes. are yes. one. That yes. nails that one. Yeah. We're not one God. Yeah. We have the same purpose. We're all working at the same job. Yes, that's beautiful. I mean, that's it's, very easy, it, isn't it? It's really quite lovely, isn't it? It's, it's beautiful. Delightfully straightforward, mm -hmm. yes. So, uh, yes. But in, in by being uh, self-deprecating, mm -hmm. I guess you could say, mm -hmm. Paul is helping the point to arise even that's stronger true. that this is all of God. This it's is all, all of Christ, right, right. not of us. And uh, uh, yes. uh, marvelous image. You are God's field and His building. Two, uh, you said the agricultural one and the architectural one that He's going to develop. Yeah. Yeah, he's a, he's in effect announcing the next the next yes. set of uh, yes. Uh, uh, yes. He of must have written notes on will. all this before. He, I, I don't know if he did, or is it just his I mind? Don't, I don't know. Is it's it's uh, sheer inspiration. Yeah. I don't know. We can find out one day how he did it. I know. I did. We'll, we'll have to be patient and wait, but I would love to talk to him about I would too, some yeah. of these things. Reminds you of that text there in the Psalms. How, how, oh, how I love your Torah, your law, right? <laughs> yes, yes. This is, this is good stuff. Yes. I, I can, I can yes. take yes. more of this, you know. Yeah. I'm, lo I'm loving this yeah. because it's so sound and sane and sensible. 
and a real criticism of our current religious scene, which has mm. gone horribly mm. wrong. Oh, my land, yes. Mm -hmm. um, okay, verse 10. Verse 10. According to the grace of God given to me, like a skilled master builder, mm -hmm. I laid a foundation, and someone else is building upon it. Let each one take care how he builds upon it. Verse 11, for no one can lay a foundation other than that which is laid, yes. which is Jesus Christ, yes. which is Jesus yes. the Messiah. He himself exactly. is in this picture, he the is the foundation. Well, that's my, that. Matthew 16, 16 yeah. on this on my land, rock, yes. mm. namely recognition that Jesus is not God, but he's the Messiah. <laughs> the, yes. On that rock-solid confession, yes. I will build my church. Yes. That's exactly the same Wow, thing. I love it. So, and uh, isn't that interesting? Uh, mm. the, you, we see these pictures in, in somewhat different ways, but Jesus is the builder yes. in Matthew 16. Yes. And the, the foundation is about him. Yes, Here we find that Paul is actually making yes. uh, Jesus equivalent to the foundation. Mm -hmm. Nice, interesting. Yes. Yes. Very practical ways to speak, because they knew about building, they knew mm -hmm. about planting, right, in that society. Mm -hmm. So use that all the time. So Anthony, he's yeah. uh, he's laid this before us. Mm -hmm. There is this foundation; it's Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. But others will build on oh, that foundation. Right. Then. Now, I'll, More than I'll, one person involved then in a church mm -hmm. enterprise. Yes. Yes. Very important. And then the day of judgment. You're about to read that. I yes. think he's going to reveal. It. So it all looks towards that Acts seventeen thirty one. The day is coming mm -hmm. when God is going to judge. Mm. Us by the standards set by yes, Jesus. Yes, yes. He's got a calendar mm. date lined up, so <laughs> that's what we keep an eye on. Is, is, yeah, that's right. Yeah, he is a he is determined today. He's yes. appointed today. Yeah, like yes. that. Um, yes. Verse twelve. Yeah. Now, if anyone builds on the foundation mm. with gold, silver, mm -hmm. precious stones, mm -hmm. or hay, wood, hay, or straw. Mm -hmm. Uh, each one's work will become manifest, yes. mm -hmm. for the day will disclose it, mm -hmm. because it will be revealed by fire, and the fire will test what sort of work each one mm -hmm. has done. Yeah. Uh, verse 14, if the work that anyone has built on the foundation survives, he will receive a reward. On the other hand, verse 15, if anyone's work is burned up, mm -hmm. he will suffer loss, though he himself will be saved but only as through fire. Mm -hmm. Wow. Absolutely. I think people misinterpret this passage to mean their personal salvation. Mm. So about church planting here. Mm. You can't just do nothing in your Christian life and exactly. expect to be saved, period. The, the topic here, it's important to identify the topic, is planting mm. groups. And if other people come and build good and bad on top of it, yeah. They're going to suffer loss mm -hmm. if it isn't a successful yeah, project. Absolutely. But we're not talking about individual personal salvation here. I think. Mm -hmm. It's a special category. I think uh, maybe notice that, that Paul is referencing different kinds of materials. Yes. Some very precious, mm -hmm. uh, some very valuable. Others, yeah. like wood, mm -hmm. hay, mm -hmm. you might not want to be building with <laughs> hay or <Hardly>. with straw. <laughs> uh, those things would be so flammable. Yes, good point. And maybe his point is then, uh, Anthony, that the day's going to come when there's going to be a fire, mm. or it's going to become a tragedy, yes. that something's going to right. come to this building. Yes. And when it does, if you've been building with uh, materials that are flammable right. and not the best, not durable, not good, right. then you're going to lose what right. you've done. You, it, exactly. Each fellow is building, I suppose, right. puts the same kind of energy into it, one with straw, one with yeah. hay, yeah. one with wood, and another is using precious stones yeah. and things that would last. Exactly. And, durable, uh, durable things. Uh, yes. So uh, that's an interesting thing, uh, but both builders are, I suppose, well-intended. Oh, because sure. he says, sure. you know, they're, they're both going to make it, uh, yes. but... The right. work will not endure for the That's one who right. builds. With, fire would uh, be the symbol of trial, wouldn't it? Yes, yes. Under under the pressure yeah. of trial, the that badly sense. constructed work that is, not going to, is not going to yes. succeed. Absolutely. But what this is not saying is that you can put up your hand to get saved mm. and build nothing at all on that <laughs> and, and still right. be saved. That's right. He says he himself will still be saved, but he's talking about a church planting and someone enterprise. who's into that effort. Into yeah, that, that effort. Right. Exactly. Very important mm -hmm. distinction, I think. 
Yes. Uh, uh, very good. Then you know, each person should think about that. You know, I, I think there might could even we could by extend that thought a little bit even to uh, our, our lives in other ways as we should conduct yeah. uh, anything that we're doing in the name of the Lord and yes. as Christians mm -hmm. we uh, we want to be building carefully and wisely. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Verse sixteen. Do you not know that yes. you yes. are God's temple? Yes. And the God's Spirit dwells in you. Verse 17, if anyone destroys God's temple, God will destroy him. For yep. God's temple is holy, yes. and you are that temple. Okay, another image there, not just yeah. a building, but a no. holy building, yeah. a temple. Yeah. All sorts of snapshots, right? Yeah, yeah, to yeah. get the point from yeah. different images. I make much of the point here that when he introduces this temple image, he doesn't use the definite article. Don't you understand that you are a temple of God? Mm, mm. I make that distinction because in 2 Thessalonians 2, he talks about the Antichrist saying the temple, which probably, because of the article there, mm -hmm. he's not talking about the church there, I think. Mm -hmm. Now, it's true that following the introduction where he says a temple of God, he can then go on to speak of you as the temple now of God. Now, the specific, That's yes, the, yes, right. That's the anaphoric right, article, to use the technical yes. term. But when he says in Second Thessalonians 2 that the Antichrist will stand in the temple of God, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. most likely no. he's not talking metaphorically yeah. there, yeah. right? It's a nice point, actually. I, I've enjoyed that point. Mm -hmm. But we are, the, we are a temple of mm -hmm. God, no Excellent. question. We are to be God's dwelling place. Yes, indeed. Why? That's quite a challenge, isn't it? Um, right. You are God's temple. You know, uh, when you think about the example he's laid out, then he's got three different persons mm. he's focusing on. Mm. One fellow is a builder who yes. builds wisely yes. with apparently durable materials, mm -hmm. good materials, and it's going to last. Mm -hmm. uh, the second fellow he brings to yes. our attention is the fellow who maybe is well intended, yeah. but he's not building wisely. Right. He's building with well, hay, wooden and stubble right. and stuff. And, you right. know, uh, this is not what would be intended yeah. for a good durable building. Right. But now he's introduced a third person. The first two each will be saved because yeah. they're seeking to yeah. do good. Yeah. Uh, yeah. For, for It's sort of the Romans yeah. 14. Yeah. But yeah. this third person, mm -hmm. this is different. This is a person who comes to destroy ah. the temple. Now that fellow, on the other hand, he doesn't fit in either one of the other. Yeah. The one who who comes in and does harm or damage, yes. oh, yeah. uh, that right. person uh, right. it will not be saved. Yes. <laughs> no, yeah, I think uh, nice they're going thing. to have a judgment uh, uh, before them. Because and of as their you said, every, actually everybody's well, most people are well-intentioned. Yes. Very few people get up in the morning and say, well, I'm really going to deceive these people today. Right. They mean well, but they may be very careless in their preparation. Yes, yes. And you can lose a reward here. So. Mm -hmm. Uh, there's a text in John that's never used in the epistles where it says, and I don't know the verse offhand, it says that we may gain a full reward. Uh -huh. So yeah. that means you can gain less than a full reward. Yes, that's an excellent point. For the full reward. That's a text I don't hear I like mentioned. That. I like so that. you can suffer injury. You, you're mm -hmm. going to be saved yourself by the skin of your teeth. Yes, yes. Even if you don't build wisely. Right. But it's, right. it's strictly this limited area of church planting mm -hmm. rather than just getting saved or not getting saved. Sure. I, th I think so. I think you, you're exactly right. I, I think that must be it. Otherwise it becomes a kind of once saved, always saved yeah. idea which contradicts which everything work. else that no, Jesus said. Makes saved. no sense. Yeah. Uh, but that then this, this soul that comes along with ill will. Yes. And, oh uh, yes, that's right. And they may yes. be driven. They may think in their yeah. minds are doing well, but if they're destroying... Ooh. That's it another story. Tearing yeah. down. Yeah. That's another God's story. people for whatever their reason. Yeah. Absolutely. So wow. So then you get to verse what eighteen is it? Yes. Eighteen. Let no one deceive mm. himself. Mm. If anyone among you mm. thinks that he is wise in this age, mm. let him become a fool that he may become wise. <laughs> Same image again. Uh, a fool according to the way this Absolutely. age would think. Yeah, no, that's that, very that's a vivid way of saying wow. it. It strikes the brain, you know, let him be, be a fool. Was the boss telling us to be fools? Well, well yes, <laughs> in that context. In that sense, yes. It's the opposite of yes, yeah. godly wisdom. Yes. It's foolishness. Here, he's going to say that very thing yeah. next verse. Verse 19, for yes. the wisdom of this world is folly with mm. God. Mm. Uh, for it is written, he catches the wise in their craftiness. <laughs> and again, the Lord knows the thoughts of the wise, that they are futile. So let no one boast in men, 
that's back to that don't yes. boast business yes. again. I think. Yes. Let no one boast in men, yes. for all things are yours. Mm. I love this verse. Mm -hmm. uh, mm. So uh, whether they are Paul or Apollos or Cephas or the world, oh, they're all yours. Mm -hmm. Isn't this wonderful? Mm -hmm. uh, this is this is lovely. Mm -hmm. uh, and he says, or the world, or life, mm -hmm. or death, or yeah. the present, or the future, mm -hmm. all are yours. And wonderful. love this concluding verse, this chapter. Yes. And you are Christ's. Yes. That is, you belong to Christ. Yes, you belong to Christ. And Christ belongs is God's. He belongs to Isn't God. Isn't that straightforward? Oh, my, Hi, goodness. my goodness. This this uh, is deserving of a little charismatic moment. Oh, here. absolutely. <laughs> that's right. what, what is it? A charismatic wow. twirl. That's right. <laughs> Why not? You feel like getting up and dancing. Yeah, it's just, at that point. It's no, just it beautiful. Is, it is so clean oh, my and clear, isn't it? Yeah. I love that. Yes. Yeah. You own everything. And that's that Jeremiah 27, 5 we did this morning. You know, God made the heavens and the earth, all the animals, and he's going to give the whole thing. Oh, yes. The whole like shooting that. match, I think we should yes. say in England. Yes. The whole kit kaboot. <laughs> that's right. He gives it to the one, mm. either the one that God decides mm. he is pleased to give it to, mm -hmm. or the one that is pleasing in God's sight. You mm. own the whole thing. I love that. It's tremendous stuff. And then notice, too, the, the language is, yeah. is very uh, carefully put. Yeah. It is says, and uh, your Christ, and yes. Christ is God. He doesn't say that. No, he no. Says, Christ is God. Belongs said. to God in the same sense we belong to Christ. And uh, absolutely, yeah, I love that. The wonderful subordination there yeah. to use the technical yeah. term. Yeah. yeah, I mean to say that Christ is God. You know, the Archbishop of Canterbury, Ramsey, ex. He in the book I've got it over there. He says, you know, Jesus did not claim deity for himself. <laughs> yes. That's the opening statement in chapter 2 about Jesus and God. Jesus, I hope everybody in the Church of England is listening to this, Jesus did not claim deity for himself. Wow. In 1982, a whole 31 out of 39 bishops in the Church of England said, you don't have to believe that Jesus is God to be a member of our church. Wow. We're saying that too. That's wonderful. Relax. Yes. You know? Jesus is not God. God was in Christ. Not God was Christ. Yes, yes, yes. The Bible then is about God and man, yes. not about God and God, much less about God and God and God. Yes, yes. <laughs> and that's, that's easy. Right. God yeah. and man, Psalm 110. Yeah. One, and, and right? Jesus then, the representative man for us. That's exactly. Right. The ideal man, the yeah. model man, the yeah. pioneer of our salvation. Isn't wow. that good stuff? Mm. It really it coheres so well, isn't it? Mm. See, I know that I can say I was there, I was in the Church of England. Mm -hmm. Maybe I wasn't listening well. I didn't understand any of this. We yes. didn't talk about it. If we had talked, if we'd given a Bible verse, uh, yeah. suppose we go to a party, a dinner party, <laughs> yeah, and we right. say, I believe in the resurrection. Mm. Mm. We'd have been, si what's the word, sidelined yes. immediately. Some yes. American <laughs> fanatic. <laughs> Believe me, that was the case. Uh, wow. You don't quote Bible verses wow. in polite society. Oh, in my England. goodness. Yeah. But um, we're reading this stuff with delight. You're not, yeah. not reading this because we're trying to be yeah. pious. It's, it's just wonderful. It's, it's, it's uplifting stuff. stuff. Yeah. yeah. Like beautiful music. Yeah. Well, let's see, you know, I was just thinking about this then, Anthony, isn't what Paul has done, mm -hmm. he begins by announcing, as he does, who God is and, <laughs> and who Paul is and who Jesus is, of course, the yeah, of course. Christ. Yes. He gives thanks, he gives thanks for the people, mm -hmm. and he lifts them up yes, he does. wonderfully before he begins to deal now yes. with their problems. Yes, that's right. So I like that. He tends to, yes. he, he can't address your problem too quickly. No, he, no. In his mind, i got to let you know, by the way, you're God's people and how yes. wonderful this yes. is. Now how lovely you. that is. Now let me tell you. Now we've got to talk about it. <laughs> yes. uh, it's the essence yeah, of good but, diplomacy yeah, and yeah, style. Yeah. How to deal with people. Right. He's a marvelous leader of people, this mm -hmm. Paul. Yes.